close your eyes and focus on your breath. Try to gather all your awareness around the breath so that, so that it doesn't go slipping off to other things. Thoughts may come by, but you don't have to go with them. You can stay right here. Try to get some control over your mind. This is said to be a meritorious activity. The word merit is not popular in English, but it's a another word might for this maybe just simply goodness. We do goodness by being generous, we do goodness by observing the precepts, not to harm anyone. And we especially do goodness when we train the mind, because everything comes out of the mind. All our skillful things and unskillful things, our actions, our words, they come out of the mind. So you want to make sure the mind is in good shape. And this has a benefit not only for you, but for the people around you. The less greed, aversion, and delusion can come out in your mind, the less other people have to suffer from these things, too. So try to get the mind under your control. Be mindful to stay with the breath. Be alert to what the mind is doing. And then be ardent. Try to do this really well, because after all, it is your well-being that depends on it, and the well-being of people around you. When I say this is meritorious, it's right, right here. You find happiness in a way that doesn't harm anybody else, and that you can actually share with others. All too many of the pleasures of the world are things that you gain, other people have to lose. You gain status, other people don't get that status. You gain wealth, other people don't gain that wealth. You eat food, nobody else can eat it. But the happiness that comes from being generous, being virtuous, and meditating. That spreads around to the people right around you, and you can dedicate it to other people as well. There's a tradition of dedicating merit to the people who passed away. Like today, we're commemorating the fact that Rama the Ninth, King of Thailand, died 100 days ago. So we think of all the goodness that he did for Thailand, and goodness that spilled over into the world. If he hadn't protected Thailand, there wouldn't have been any forest tradition left to, for us to bring to America. So we're in his debt. And so we do merit and dedicate it to him. If there's some way that he knows about it and he expresses his approval, that becomes his merit too. Because when you approve of the goodness of other people, that's meritorious as well. You're not jealous of the fact that somebody else has done well and done good. You see that it's good in the world that people are doing good, because there's so much evil that people are doing. We have to balance it out. So try to develop these good qualities in mind, these ways of finding happiness that create a happiness that actually erases boundaries between people. Is your happiness in being virtuous, being generous, meditating? That makes other people happy, too. Let the happiness spread around. That's the kind of happiness that's blameless. That's the kind of happiness that's really safe. If you have a kind of happiness that depends on other people's suffering or takes things away from other people, they're not going to stand for it. They're going to do what they can to destroy it. But the happiness that comes from doing the acts of merit, that's a happiness that nobody else can take from you and nobody else is going to be jealous of. So this is the kind of happiness that you can go for as much as you want. And the more merit you make, the more meritorious things you do, the more the world's going to benefit as a whole.